Hey guys, welcome to the CEO life today. My name is Wes Biko and welcome back to today's video. So right now as I'm filming this UFC 212, the main event is about to start, or the main card actually. It's right around the co-main as I'm filming this. So I don't know if any of you guys are UFC fans, but for me, my money is on Holloway. I think Holloway's gonna beat Jose Aldo. Um, I, might, I personally train MMA and stuff, so I'm about to go hit the gym, watch, um, do a little bit of MMA, some boxing and stuff, and watch UFC. So maybe you'll see a video about that in the future. Now on to today's topic, which is our gym scents. These are my top five favorite gym scents and gym fragrances that I love to use. Honorable mention number one is Thierry Mugler's Pure Shot or also Pure Energy. Um, they're both the same fragrance. This smells like juniper, mint, and patchouli. Pretty great scent, very, very fresh, um, very strong. I mean, one or two sprays of this and you are good for an entire you know, two hour workout. This stuff lasts you all day. This is great. The only thing I don't like about this and why this is an honorable mention, uh, this to me has a musk note that I don't like it. It has this weird BO musk smell. So it's not a traditional musk. Like if you go buy a fragrance that's marketed as, it's a, it smells like a musk. This smells like actual human sweat at times. And I think that's just the mix of the juniper and patchouli. Um, however, I think some people can rock this. It's just personally for me, I don't like that smell. Now, as for number five on my list, we go to this fragrance right here. This is by Michael Germain and this is Sexual Noir. I love this stuff. Uh, this stuff is kind of a little underrated. A lot of people think these Michael Germain fragrances are just not that great. The longevity kind of sucks on some of these. However, I think this is the perfect gym scent because it's not, it doesn't project very much, but it keeps you fresh and, and good smelling. So this smells like honey, cardamom, tobacco, uh, a bunch of other notes in lavender as well, I think is mixed into this. This is great stuff. If you want to smell something that smells similar to this, go pick up a fragrance called Fresh Blue Musk by Bodman. So it's B-O-D-M-A-N. Uh, their stuff is kind of marketed as like kids cologne in a sense. Um, it's very, very cheap. It's kind of like a level below Axe, I'd even say. But I'd highly recommend checking out their stuff because they produce some great stuff. Which brings us to number four, which is actually by the house, Bodman. Bodman Black. What does this smell like? This is very similar to Midnight in Paris by Von Cleef and Arpels, or Vulgari Black. I would highly recommend this though. Overall, this smells extremely fresh, extremely clean. I've gotten so many compliments while wearing this. And personally for me, some of you may have seen, I have bottles of Aventus and stuff. And this gets way more compliments than even Aventus, which is very strange. This also has a slight smell of one, one of the One Direction perfumes that I've noticed. Um, a girl I was dating actually, she used to wear One Direction all the time. I don't know which one, but it's one of them. And I think, I think it's actually our moment. And anyways, this has a similar quality to it. I don't know what it is, but these bottles are super cheap. It's like five bucks for this. And this stuff lasts a long time. Projects very well as well. And you can do like 15 sprays of this. And this is just the best smell ever. Now as for number three on our list, we're looking at Guerlain. Home Ideal Cologne. I love this stuff. Um, it's pretty nice. This, originally when I smelt it, I didn't like it because it has this slightly BOE vibe I find that you get with this. Um, however, that fades very, very fast within the first five minutes. As soon as that's gone, this is a beautiful scent. And I think that's just the mixing of the kind of sweet, some of the gourmandier notes, like say like the almond, and then combination with the lime that's in here and it just puts, makes it a little off-putting at first. However, I would recommend this. This stuff lasts, this is so clean and so fresh, and I absolutely love this stuff. Highly would recommend this. Great, great bottle, great, 100% worth the price, and this stuff lasts a long time. Now, as for number two, we're looking at our moth, Club de Nuit Intense for Men. This is the stuff that smells like Aventus. Why do I choose this over Aventus? Well, if you're gonna be a baller, go rock Aventus at the gym. However, I save my bottle of Aventus for more formal occasions or everyday wearing. Um, as for the gym scent, because I know it's going to get showered off an hour or two later, I go with this. And this to me hypes me up, especially if I'm doing cardio days. This is my number one beast for cardio days. If I'm doing running, if I'm doing some, you know, spin class, that type of shit, I'm going for this. Why is that? This stuff projects like a madman when you get warm. I'm telling you, it, it's almost room filling it sometimes. Um, this also has a ton of longevity, smells super manly, super fresh, keeps you smelling clean, and also to me, this is like a power scent, just like a nice alpha male scent, and I love, I love, love, love that, and it hypes me up, actually. 
It's my number one scent. This is one that many people haven't heard of. Everlast 1910 Original. So what does this stuff smell like? Well, it has a lavender, um, lime, cinnamon, orange, tons of different notes in there that all, all don't make sense how they all work well together. This smells incredible. This stuff I've talked about on a previous video, this smells like shaving cream in a bottle. Uh, you're not gonna get a ton of compliments with it, but this smells so fresh, it's so nice, especially if you're into like MMA and stuff, I'd highly recommend supporting Everlast. And this is actually, this lasts a long time. This lasts almost as long as like, say like a Tuscan leather or something like that. One of those really dark wintery scents that lasts forever. I'd highly recommend this. I can get a full day's wearing with like three sprays of this and still smell and still be projecting. And this is great when it heats up too. It takes on this very nice, just fresh note and it makes you just smell great. It smells like you just got out of the shower um, and that you just like had freshly shaved. Highly would recommend this though. This is a great bottle. Very worth the price. Um, and also too, I've heard some reviewers uh, or some reviews I've read on like Fragrantica and stuff describe this as almost like the smell of a leather gym bag mixed with like some boxing gloves or something from Everlast. It has that vibe to it. Leather I don't think is an official note on this, but you do get this weird leathery smell to it. Highly would recommend this, well worth the price. This is like 15 bucks on uh, FragranceNet, so it's worth it. Anyways, that's my top five gym fragrances. What are you guys' top five? Let me know. Is there any other top fives you guys wanna see? Uh, stay tuned, more and more stuff is coming right now down the pipeline. Um, and there's gonna be some cool business videos coming out pretty soon talking about businesses and making your business uh, just kind of get to a higher level into the level that you really wanna have it at. Or even starting your own business. So anyways, take care guys, have fun. And if you're watching UFC, let me know.